five ways to improve your email copywriting skill my name is M Kelkan welcome to my channel this channel will teach you how to write sales pages emails and how to make money with your copywriting skills so we cover copywriting email copywriting and other kinds of copywriting skills if you're new to the channel please like the video share and subscribe so you can get more videos about email copywriting and copywriting so today's video is about five ways you can improve your copywriting skills all right so how did I come about with the five ways well I have a copywriting program that teaches students how to write email copies so many times that I review their emails I notice that they make five mistakes and these five mistakes is what you can improve if you can improve and overcome these five mistakes you are going to improve your copywriting skill and you're going to start writing emails that sell all right so what are these five mistakes and five ways you can improve your email copywriting skill let's start with the very first one weak subject lines anytime i review the emails written by my students especially the very new ones i notice that they have weak subject lines don't forget the subject line is the headline of your email it's very important because it affects how people open your emails if you have weak subject lines people will not open your email you want people to open your email so they can read and take action so if you can learn how to write powerful subject lines at a, a, a persuasive at, at, at attention grabbing subject lines you'll be able to get people to read your emails and generate sales so what's the solution to writing subject lines that work here are some ideas for you here are some ideas number one you need to focus on writing benefits in your subject lines you want to use benefits always remember that people are attracted to benefit people want to know if this is going to be useful to them and that is what your subject line should be also use stories in your subject lines it is very very attractive when you use stories you can use curiosity you can also use contradictions contradictions is just saying something opposite the the usual thing that we know is that the story is that dog bites man but if you have a, a story that says man bites dog that is going to be a contradiction and it's going to grab attention all right so you have to use that idea when you're writing subject lines all right so that is the very first thing you can do and very first thing you can improve and you'll be able to improve your email copywriting skill so what's the next thing weak openers an opener is the first sentence in your email this also is very important it affects if people will read your email or if they're going to close your email so if they open your email the very first line should make them want to read on and that's where your opener comes in how should you write openers well the same thing that you did for writing subject lines use benefits use stories use curiosity use contradictions your opener should be a continuation or could be a continuation of the subject line or could be something totally different but whatever it is make sure you use four of these ideas to write openers that work or you can combine them but whatever the case make sure it is interesting enough to get people to continue to read your email so what's the next thing or the next mistake people make that you can improve and improve your email copywriting skill weak transitions what is a transition if you read an email you're going to notice that most times you have two parts one part is where you share information where you share a story or share an educational information then the the bottom part is where you teach or where you pitch all right you teach in the first part and you pitch in the second part to connect those two parts you need to use transitions that is transitions i also call it pivot to to move from teaching to selling or from teaching to pitching is a transition most newbies don't know how to transition properly it is not difficult it is easy there are a number of things you can do to help you transition smoothly here are some of them number one you can ask a question 
So if you're talking about something, you can say, why am I telling you this story? If you're, if you're writing a story and you want to move from telling the story to pitching, you can just ask a question like, why am I telling you this story? And then you can, start, you can explain why you're telling the story and you pitch your offer. Or you can say, if then, all right, if you love this story and you don't want this to happen to you, then you should do this. If you like what you just read, then you will like this. So you can use if then as a way to transition from teaching to pitching. You can also use a very simple one, that's why. So you can just say, that's why I'm making this offer available. That's why I want you to get this course. That's why you need to, you know. So that those are three ways. Now there are many other ways that you can learn how to transition. In my email copywriting program, I have a number, I have a module that focuses on transitions, how to move from teaching to pitching. If you want to get access to that course, and, and my other free copywriting resources, go to the description, click the link, join my email list, or go to the pinned comment, click the link, and get access to some of my trainings to help you know how to write emails that sell. So what's the next point? The next mistake people make? Too many ideas. I see a lot of that mistake when I review email for my students. By the way, part of what you will get when you you get my short copy master program or my email copywriting course is reviews of your emails. And I'll get to review your emails and help you to write better. And if you want to see me review emails, check around my channel. You're going to see videos that are where I review emails for my students. Now back to what I was talking about. Too many ideas. Every email you write has an idea. The problem is most people want to put two or three more ideas in one email. If you focus on writing one, one idea per email, your emails are going to be short, your emails will be interesting, and people will be able to take action. Always try to see if you can write one idea per email. So if you want to talk about how to do something, focus on that thing alone. Don't add another idea, all right? Don't put too many ideas per email, or it's going to be difficult for you, it will be confusing to the reader, and you won't get the result you want. So it's very simple. The, the, what to do here is just write one email per one idea per email. That's the solution for that problem. Just write one idea per email. Don't try to solve every problem in one email. Write one idea per email. The very last thing that we're going to talk about here is long sentences. I see that too. A lot of people write long sentences. They don't use full stops. They don't understand that people struggle to read long sentences. What you should do about that is simple. Write shorter sentences, shorter, punchy sentences. Have a lot of white space, right? When you write sentences, uh, short sentences, use a lot of full stops, people will be able to read and understand what you're saying, all right? Very important and a major mistake I see a lot of people make. There are so many other things you can learn about email copywriting and i like to share them with you and you if you get my short copy master program or my email copywriting course you will get access to everything so for now i want you to go to my description click the link you will get access to my email copywriting course and a few other resources that can help you become a better email copywriter or you can improve your email copywriting skill so go to the description right now click the link and download my email copywriting course. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to learn more about copywriting, email copywriting, and lots more. If you have any question concerning what I just shared with you right now, let me have the question in the comments. Once again, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.